Hey folks, Captain Dave here, and what I want to talk to you about today is the easiest way that you can ever really upgrade a reel. If there's something that I don't like about a reel right off the get-go most of the time, it's the handle. What I have here is basically a Daiwa aftermarket handle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap it. I'm going to swap out this on my dia on my Daiwa Ryoga. The easiest upgrade you can ever do to a reel is just changing out the handle. Here is a hundred millimeter Daiwa custom handle. So let's get rid of that. Here's your little bag, bag of goodies. But this handle, I got it in, in guns, uh, what they call gun smoke color. It kind of has a swept, what they call a swept appearance here. These are supposed to be, and I'm not always really that sure. These are supposed to be. I think on ball bearings. I mean, they turn really easy, but it's not like it's not that they spin that easy, as easy as these. And I've always wondered. So, but what these are is the kind of what a lot of real companies are going to today because. They're finding out that the customers really like these. These really hard kind of EVA ball type handles. Daiwa's bringing these out on the Catalina reels, uh, the Ryoga Bay jigging reel has these. Um, some of your Abu Garcia's have these on their higher grade reels. Uh, who else? Uh, that's about all I can think of right now. But it does it does spin pretty good. I mean, there's n zero zero resistance feeling there. So the first thing was to determine which handle goes on your reel. And then afterwards, once you find it, then it's time to replace. Now, I'm going to hold this up behind here and look at the difference. There's, let's, let's kind of get center to center here. Okay, there's the difference. This is a hundred millimeter this might be 80 or 90 millimeter. I'd have to look on the box and see. I have a feeling, like I said, they do this for the do-all crowd. And maybe the freshwater fishermen, you know, they don't have a, they don't think of it as any big deal. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to get out our precision screwdrivers. These are ones that I've had for, oh my God, forever. And the first thing you got to do is kind of match the hatch here. Use the proper screwdriver for the proper screw size, or if it's a slot screw, use, and it has a wide slot, use your wider screwdrivers, please. Look, look at me. It's just, as if I care what you, if you screw up your your screws. Okay, so there you go. There's a the screw. These are um, precision little rigid screwdrivers that I've had forever. So then the next thing is, is just you're going to take off this little retainer. There it goes. Usually just falls right off. Now here is what Daiwa has done 
is they give you a new retainer, a new screw, and two new caps. But what we're going to soon see here is that this isn't like many of their reels. You want to use the right tool if you can or nut driver which is most of the time on these reels is going to be in millimeter. Okay so that you just take that nut off. That's why this is the simplest upgrade. If you're not a guy who's into breaking these reels down the parade rest like me um, this is something you can do. You can do this very, very easily. Okay, see the difference already? Is that is a screw-in type for the handle, which they are kind of assuming, just in case here, that you're going to be putting a cap on a post. That's the difference between, let's say, a, a different, maybe like a Daiwa Millionaire, and the difference between this Ryoga, okay? So that's got a different nut system. So in all reality, I won't be using any of these, and these will go in my Daiwa parts bin for any repairs or anything like that, or I'll take this handle, which is quality all the way, and maybe replace this onto another reel that has like a real cheap cheapy handle. All right. So now without touching any other parts, this is this is how easy it is and I don't know if anybody does this or not. Now that fits on there. And then we're going to put our nut back on being sure to never ever ever strip this. So, everything on these reels is micro-threads, is what I always refer to them as. Everything is precision. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to hold this now, and I am going to snug it up. Believe it or not, these take a certain amount of torque. but you still want to be very careful. I torque it until it just doesn't really want to move anymore. And then I go in now, see how that's got the little star shaped patterns on it. And you have to reline up the hole. Okay. Not rocket science, but you want to get this retainer on there, of course. And it looks like either I'd have to back it up or tighten it just a little bit more because I'm just off of it. Usually it seems to me that if you get the point of a nut like this pointing towards that hole, you're in the neighborhood. So, and there I was exactly right. Now I got room, it fit on perfect, and now I can put, oh, put my screw on. So that's just a little trick as far as the die was are concerned, that I've always seemed to notice, is that if you take one of the One of the points on the nut and face it towards the hull. You'll always be there. Snug that. And now, look at that baby. You know, here's how it feels. As soon as you go from a handle like this to a bigger handle, being that I'm a saltwater guy in the saltwater world that I don't even know if the freshwater guys get into this or not, a simple upgrade like this. But it's like, you know, as soon as you get your tires rotated, I know it is when I get my, I get my tires rotated on my truck, man, and I 
pull out and I go down the road and it feels like a new pair of, I got like a new pair of shoes on the truck. Well, that's what this feels like. The first time out, you grab this handle and it's a little bigger, it's a little meatier, it's soft, it's really easy to hold on to. That's what it's like. It's like getting your tires rotated. And then, I mean, look at this. Come on. Really, is there any comparison, folks? There's no comparison. You often think, then, why the hell did they even put this handle on there? Like I said, I think they're trying to please everybody. Okay, so that's the Ryoga upgrade. And you can do this, too. Remember, I only got this one because this is right from Daiwa. Okay, when you got a, you know, a four hundred dollar type reel. Um, oh, that's why they give you the two parts. One is for right, and one is for left. If you're a lefty, they're giving you one, and you can see the difference is that cap is smooth, and this one's got an inner circle in it. Obviously, the differences between uh, right hand and left hand. The nuts need to be a little different. But I'll tell you, boy, I sure do love this reel. I love all my Ryogas. So, that is a simple upgrade. Easy reel upgrade. Try a handle. Thanks for watching.